Blender 4.0 was just released and in this video I will show you my top favorite features. Stick around for the last tip because it will make your render look even better without any effort. The first feature is light linking. This is something other 3D softwares already have, but now is finally here in Blender. Especially in the beginning, I spent hours on googling how to exclude a certain object from a light source because it can be really useful. But now it's super easy with this new feature. Just go to your light link properties under shading and then light linking, you can create a new collection and give it a name. Now you can just drag in the object you want to affect and if you check it, you only have this object affected and if you deselect it, you have every object affected except this one. You can also do the same for shadows if you don't want an object to cast shadow and it works pretty much the same down here for shadow linking. The next feature is the new node tools feature. This is a new way of using geometry nodes. You can now easily run geometry nodes set up as normal operators and create your own tools without any knowledge of Python. I'm especially looking forward to this one because I'm really excited on what cool tools the community will create and share online and I can't wait to test it out myself. So yes, definitely be on the lookout for new amazing tools with geometry nodes that you can use in Blender without having to know any Python at all. The third feature that I really like is the improvements to the graphs editor. If you don't know, I really like to do animation, like not really traditional animation with like character animation and stuff, but I really like to do camera animation or just bring a scene to life. So the graphs editor is essential if you want to do that. So I'm especially looking forward to this. And what I did is they first of all improved the speed of the graphs editor. So now if you have like complex animations with hundreds of graphs, it does not start lagging at a certain point and it's way more optimized. And then another thing I really like are these new slide operations. With them you can manipulate all your keyframes or multiple keyframes with just a simple shortcut, which is Alt plus D, Alt D. And then you can select what you want to do with the keyframe. You can either average them, you can offset them or you can shear them or you can also pull them in place and Yes, that's just a really easy method to handle lots of keyframe at the same time without having to adjust every keyframe by its own. Then next, they also added many different user interface changes. My favorite one is the collapsible principle node because it is now way more organized and you only see the things that you actually need. And then also that you can search for modifiers because it's just a small thing, but it's just really an improvement of the quality because I don't have to look for them all the time. I can just search for them, which is great. Besides that, they also slightly changed the font, so it's a little bit more readable. And other improvement that just makes Blender a better software and a more easy to use intuitive software, which is always a great thing. So let's get to the last tip I promised. In the new version, they added in a new view transform for color management and it's called HEX. Maybe you know Filmic, maybe that's a word you already heard in the Blender space, but what it is, it's just like a color management system and how they manage all the colors. So with this new HEX method, it just looks a little bit better and a little bit more realistic than before with the Filmic. And the Filmic was already a big step up from the standard one. So now with this HEX, it can just handle bright spots way better. You can see like, for example, with emissive materials, it just looks better and more realistic. And also in general, the image that comes out in the end is just more similar to a high budget cinema camera, which is great if you want to do realistic animations or visual effects. By the way, you can change it in the render tab at the top right here. If you scroll down to color management, you can change it to HEX. And if you think it looks a little bit too washed out, you can also select punchy or high contrast look. Of course, there are many more features like new nodes, new techniques or other things. And make sure to check them out too. I put the Blender website where they describe every little feature in the description. So definitely check it out. Also, make sure to check out my Patreon. I upload exclusive tutorials and assets there. So if you want to learn more, or support my channel, make sure to check it out. I also have a free tier where you can stay up to date or download 
different free assets I upload there. But if you want to support all the free content I do, make sure to subscribe as a Patreon and you can even test it out with a seven days free trial. Link is also in the description. Also, another thing before you close away, if you're wondering from where I got the music in the background, I use Artlist.io for that. Make sure to check out the Artlist link in the description. With it, you can get additional two months free to your subscription. And yes, make sure to like the video if you liked it and dislike it if you didn't. And also make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to not miss anything in the future. I wish you all a great rest of the week and goodbye.